This fucking camera does my head in. Causes me more bloody trouble than the wife. That's saying something. Well, good morning, people of YouTube. My faithful few. You know who you are. Look at this beautiful, peaceful, quiet in the middle of a middle of Denby. Look at it, dead quiet. Seven o'clock in the morning. Beautiful Sunday morning. What is it? The seventh of August. Wow. I'm just about to uh, <laughs> disturb these people's lovely peace and quiet with my Remus can. I just had to creep out of the house. I've got a way of doing it, so... Especially now the bike's warmed up, it's just literally... Nice and gentle. Could be a little bit respectful, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's enough respect for one. Well, people, have I got a story for you? I've been debating whether to tell this story to you all since it happened. But I thought, well, why not? Because some things need sharing, don't they? Go to a little spot over here. But yeah, uh, it's been a bit of an eventful week. I haven't been out, as, as you know, for a while. And, um, the last couple of days I've been for a couple of rides. Lovely. I went out for a ride with Jason the other day, met up with Stuart. Uh, the point was to meet him in Broughton Park. Where they both work that end. I'm going out for a ride. Off I set. Dumbass here. No idea why. I decided to end. I ended up going to not Broughton Park, but the other side of Chester. I ended up going to bloody where else? Ellesmere Port, basically, where this bike came from to the old BMW garage. It's not a BMW garage anymore. And I'm there thinking, whereabouts are they now? I can't find them. It just dawned on me, you idiot, it's about 15 miles the other way. And this was meant to be about half past four, it was now 20 past four. <laughs> Call it a senior moment if you want, you know what I mean? I mean, who knows? To me, it's just me, that's the kind of shit I do. I've always done odd um, stuff like that. <laughs> so I decided to think, how the hell do I get there from here? Because I'm not too sure. I know, I'll, I'll use the sat nav. My £600 sat nav, I think, I don't know what it costs, but I've never used. So I thought I'd put it in there, put it in. Oh, I came it straight away, 12 miles that way. Off I set, looking at the clock. Beautiful spot here, look at it. Yeah, long straight road. Slow moving traffic. I decided to filter past him. Looking ahead, nothing coming, pulled out. What happened? My worst nightmare, or well, all our worst nightmares. Somebody in that slow moving traffic decided to turn right. At this point I got momentum going, so I was probably doing about 25. And there I was, and I saw this indicator. And it's like, oh my god, in seconds he was out of the line. And all his visions are getting T-boned, getting crushed. Everything goes through your mind in that split second. And uh, I literally, how can I explain it? I'll try and explain it to you better when I stop. A beautiful morning. It's 14 degrees, half past seven, very fresh. Jamie's corner. My lad rolled his car here when he was 17. Broke his arm. I always think about it when I come around here. Luckily he's grown up now out of that pretty immature age. He's in his 30s now. <laughs> Oh my god, how old am I? I'd like to say he's a more sensible guy, he doesn't drive as fast. But he does rock climbing and things like that. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> so basically this car, as it was pulling out of the straight line like that, turning, I was here so I literally hit it about that point and the weight of this and me rolled round it, if you like and sort of rolled, I wasn't lucky, I wasn't right out that far, but I rolled out and wobbled and did this and got to here. Back near drop managed to catch it, so I'm stopped like that. And he's like that. 
hell of a crunch, both looked out at each other like, what the fuck happened? And I, here, on my side of my ribs, knocked his mirror off in my belly. Guys, I've been riding bikes since nine, right? That's, what's that? Bloody hell. It's 50 years. That is my first ever crash on a bike, ever. Okay, don't include dropping my bike twice with Richie Vida. They were stationary and don't count, do they? It's just stuff we all do. Well, I do apparently. Uh, but yeah, that's the first accident ever in my life. So to get to 59 years old and not have an accident after all those years on the bike, I should be super grateful. And also, I'm super grateful I own this bloody bike. What the hell am I thinking? I don't care if I have to strap my leg up onto the bloody tank. This bike is just mind-blowing. It saved my ass, guys. The actual structure of it, there is not a mark on it. Not a mark. Look at the car. Look at that. It smashed the mirror off, smashed his uh, driver's window all over the Portobello. And there's gouges in the door where my bike has gouged it and rolled it in. Luckily it was us, it was soft, otherwise it wouldn't have given, but not a mark even where it gouged his door out. I got home and looked at my bike properly, went over to find in fact I polished it to make sure there was nothing there. Do you know what I mean? Because that's why you can find it when you're detailing things. Nothing. Uh, this is the side that did all the damage to that car. Not a single scratch. I am gobsmacked. I expected gouges and loads of just nothing. Went over at the fine tooth comb. Nothing. Which tells me this is the best bike in the world. It saved my life. Why'd I want to change it? That was embarrassing. I bet you thought I was talking to myself. <laughs> this bloody bike saved my ass. Okay, it might, obviously situations and stuff was on my favour as well because of the angle, etc. But imagine doing that on the bloody Goldwing or even my VFR, all those panels that had been destroyed and smashed. Even me, I got so much here because I got the adventure Understand? Adventure. Wider. Oh, it's too big, it's too top heavy. No, it ain't. Learn to ride it. It's fucking amazing. That saved me. All that there saved my leg. Simples. So, yeah, we're all, you know, make mistakes and things. And, I, and it was my fault because I should not have been overtaken with the junction at the right. So, that was my dumbass fault, and I've taken responsibility. I've told the insurance co company it's only a third party claim for them. But at the end of the day, guys, that's what insurance is for. This is why we have it to protect ourselves and others. So go figure. It has to be done, doesn't it? In fact, I won't be surprised if these crash protectors I've got on the bars are what gouged <laughs> this door. But it's not a mark on him either. So, yes, guys, so. You ride safe out there and be careful because you never know when it's going to happen to you. None of my family know. But luckily they don't watch these videos. Because there's no point in worrying them, is there? You know, what my family are like, oh, you need to get rid of that bike and it's that and the other. And... No, fuck off. <laughs> no. You know, I have a couple of pleasures in my life and one of them hurts the wrist, so... I mean, especially if it, in a situation like that, but of course they don't understand, do they? They just see it, you know, dad's in danger, whatever, put himself at risk. But I'm not a stupid rider. I make mistakes like all human beings do, but I'm not a fast rider. I, uh, well, anybody who knows me knows I'm not. I'll have, we'll have a blast and then we'll just drive normally. You know. But yeah. I didn't do it just for content. I, you know, and I wish to God. That's the one. I never took my camera out. 
I thought I've not been for a ride in ages. It's a nice ride out. Let's let's bog off the cameras and just enjoy the ride. So I didn't take the cameras. What footage would that have been? Typical. This is why I've got many subscribers. <laughs> the content is shite. <laughs> uh, no, so I got a massive bruise on my belly, but I'm glad I had my fat belly back to protect me. A bit of padding. If I'd have done that, you'd have gone and lost all that weight. I'd have been a bloody rib, probably. And that's not a joke. So who said this being fat isn't good for you? <laughs> Positivity, guys. Positivity. So yeah, knowing my luck, this is the one video that my wife will decide to watch, or the kids or something. <laughs> anyway, all's good, and here we are on Sunday with an undamaged bike. <laughs> I still can't get over that. What a bike! Yep, you're not going anywhere, baby. What was I thinking? There's no way I'm going to buy a plastic bloody Honda to replace you. Not a chance. But I won't buy that piece of shit anyway. Don't go there, Andy. Defend people. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, guys, look at this beautiful morning. What is it? It's quarter to eight. And as I've said before, coming out this time of day, the roads are so bloody quiet. It's, I definitely won't be test driving, test riding the, the BMW K600 GTL now. Nah, definitely not. Oh yeah, I know where this comes out. Oh yeah, I remember now. When I get to the point where I struggle with my knee because of the height of this bike, I'll just start wearing platform shoes. <laughs> remember them in the 70s. Chunky soles on them, used to wear them for school. My big flares. Oh my god. How cool did we look? Oh, and the big massive collars on your shirt. Ah! How cool did we look with our long hair? Yes. <laughs> Ties about this wide. Big knot like this. Little chunky stubby thing. We used to go to school thinking we look cool. We're the cool kids of school. <laughs> Amazing. I've moaned yet, have I? Bloody hell. <laughs> so, one of the comments on my last video about moaning about stuff, I can't remember what I was moaning about. Somebody said, the, <laughs> the Victor Meldrew of motor vlogging. Love it. <laughs> my missus calls me Carl Pilkington. Just like him. <laughs> can't remember, I believe what a beautiful morning it is. I knew I had something else to tell you. Our annual Scotland trip with Graham and Albie has uh, had to be cancelled, unfortunately. Old Albie was out on his... Uh, <coughs> on the old thing. <coughs> joking me. And uh, I don't know the full story, but something happened and uh, he's fine. Bike's okay. He had, a, he, he had to buy himself a new wheel and a tyre. Costing a lot of pounds, I believe. A lot of pounds. Um, so yeah, so the Scotland trip's off, so so we've cancelled it for this year. We'll aim for next year, try and go a bit earlier, maybe May next year. Sometimes it's good to have a break, isn't it? Because uh, things are more enjoyable after a bit of a break. You appreciate things more. But I'd, I'd appreciate Scotland every day if I went, because it's just amazing. So yeah, so that's off. So I'll have a week spare. I've not told the wife yet, otherwise she'll she'll bloody micromanage it and fill my schedule for me. Am I right or am I wrong? It's true, isn't it? Bloody hell. So I'll tell her the day before when I've made other plans. But, oh, shall I go this way? Shall I go that way? Codwin? I don't want to go to Codwin, do I? No. Well, no yeah, let's go that way. As usual, I'm not using the sat nav. <laughs> Graham will be shouting at the screen Use your sat nav! What the bloody hell's the point of it? Sorry, Graham, that was my impression of you. Even though you sound nothing like that. 
In my head you do. Stay out of the shit Andy, stay out of the shit, let God they've cut the edge recently. It's beautiful, isn't this beautiful? Let's carry on this way I think. I think I've been this way before, I can't remember now. Sure I have. If it comes out in Nant Glen area, nah, I can't do way too far away for that. Don't matter. I'm enjoying it. Where's this crossroads take me? I have no idea where I am. So that's Ruffin. I don't want to go to Ruffin. Bala. Oh, that's intriguing. That's intriguing. Should we carry on that way? Breathing I don't want to go to. Let's go for a nose up here. Bala this way? Bloody has. It's a long way to go to Bala. See what the next junction says. Now I've definitely not been here before. Excuse me Mr Squirrel. That is the only downside of coming around the country lanes early in the morning. All the wildlife are out looking for food, aren't they? I do quite like, the, like uh, enjoy these solo rides in the morning. Give you time to just, you know, think, chill, enjoy. Before the other madness, before the madness of life gets hold of you for the day. Just me and thee. And the beautiful bike on these lovely country roads. Well, I know where we are now. Oh bloody hell. I've definitely never been this way before. Oh yes I have. I so said this is where it is. I see now. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Okay, it's a good road this. The A494. I ride this uh, uh, every day the other way, go coming this way. I love riding a road that, in the opposite direction because it's like a new road, isn't it? Because it just feels so different. <coughs> Let's uh, stretch our legs a little bit, shall we? The old nimble GS. These bikes are so bloody nimble. Yeah. Well, <coughs> I'm going to head home now because uh, again I've got a lot of time. But it's a ride. Uh, shoot the breeze with you lot. I'll go home now and lock this video together somehow before the daughter takes the computer off me again. But uh, always ride safe, guys. You never know, do you? Never know. And the other thing I've got to say is, get a GS adventure. What's the matter with you? What more proof do you need? <laughs> ah, God. Take care, guys. See ya.